Oh my goodness, I've been editing all day. I'm sure you're really tired of hearing that because I'm tired of saying it. But it won't be for long. As soon as I'm on a road trip, I'll, I'll have minimal editing to do. I might bring a little bit of work with me, but I won't be doing it very often. Um, yes. Right now I'm putting together actually a video. Um, as part of the Kickstarter, one of the rewards was to do a thank you and a video on the one of the vlogs for people that contributed. Uh, so I am putting together some extra footage from In the Grove, just like, not really behind the scenes, but just like like footage we didn't put in the movie. And I'm going to play that um, and then put the usernames of the people um, that donated. I forget the certain amount that it was, but whoever donated uh, with the prize of being mentioned in the vlogs. So does this ever happen to you guys in the laundry? This happens to me every single time. It gets tangled like crazy. Octopus. I don't know how to avoid that. If there's some trick, please let me know. Oh my god, how did the whole day go by? I can't believe it's already over. I got a lot of work done, but I didn't get to do anything fun today. I'm really bummed about it. But good news, I'm going to Gainesville tomorrow for Hannah's graduation party. We were supposed to go at night, but I think we're going to leave a little bit early, probably around 1. Jesse and I are going to drive up there. We might pick up my brother on the way. Um, I have been, I, I told you when I watch like Netflix shows or movies while I'm rendering because I can't do anything and I just wait and then I like pick up where I left off. I am obsessed with the show Bones. I know I've talked about it before, but I seriously am in love with it. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm out of seasons. Um, I think there's five on Netflix and I'm almost done. I have like one season left, I think. It's really bad. I think it's such a good show though. It's like corny and a little campy, but I love it. Um, I just talked to my friend Ben, who lives out in LA. I went to film school with him. And I'm just so excited to go see them. Um, I was telling him like, after I left, I haven't seen them in over a year, which is crazy, and I barely have even talked to them. I told them it's totally my fault because something that I feel like I do is instead of like having to deal with missing somebody or the pain of missing my friends, I just make myself really busy and I, I don't face it. I just like forget that I even miss them. And so now that I've realized how much I miss them, it hurts so bad, I just don't want to, I, like I'm too anxious to go right now. Um, we leave in a couple of days, which is good, but it's going to take us a while to drive there. I'm going to be so anxious the whole time. I picked up a few letters at the P.O. Box. I wanted to clear it out before I left for my road trip. And I got one from someone named Corey, which is also my brother's name, so I thought it was from my brother for one second. It's spelled differently, though. Um, and it was really cute because Corey signed it, Future Owner of All Your Movies and Oscar-Winning Movies and How to Be a Successful Director Books. Signed, Corey. That was really cute. Corey talks about how much they admire Justin, how talented a uh, musician they think he is, and how him and Yuki need to make a song pronto. And the cool thing is they're working on such a good song. Justin has written, he's put up a lot of his music, but there's some that he hasn't put up that is so, so good. Um, I've always known he was a good musician. We grew up together, and I remember he, his band would play, and he could play like every single instrument and sing at the same time if he wanted. Um, he's always been really talented. One really cool thing is we've kind of put together this plan that him and Yuki are going to make this song and then I'm going to direct a music video to go along with it. And I have so many good ideas. I've never done a music video before, but I really want to do something. I usually do stuff that's kind of realistic and um, like less flashy and I would love to do something like with glitter and parties and lights and all that stuff and I would, I, mean, I think a music video would be really fun. I also got a really cool postcard from somebody um, it says, We know the road is a good listener because we run. And I know that's really simple, but I really like it because I agree and I, I feel like I almost live by that. Like, I'm not a professional runner or anything like that, but I definitely feel that running is where I go to be calm and to clear my mind. Um, really, recently, lately, I've been feeling really, not in a bad way, but really just confused about um, where I'm going. It's similar, it's funny, like, to the beginning when I started vlogging last July. So almost a year ago, I was kind of asking myself, what am I doing with my life? Like, where am I going? Like, I had, I had no job. I didn't know what I was doing. And I started vlogging, and it gave me a lot of direction. And I've come so far since then, and I got to make the movie, and hopefully I'll get to put it online soon. And I got to go into Sarasota Film Festival, and I feel like I've accomplished a lot since last year. And now I'm kind of slipping back into that phase where, like, I'm, I'm wondering what's my next step. Um, like, after the festival's over, I was like, okay, like, there's a lot of momentum, and now I don't, I again, don't really know what I'm doing. Um, and it's not, it shouldn't be really scary, it's kind of exciting because I'm like, what are my goals for this year, like what do I want to get done? Um, and back to running, like I just feel like that's somewhere, like I can go and think about stuff like that. Um, I remember being really young and in elementary school, and I know this is weird, but when I was younger, I feel like I never questioned what I thought, like I, I always knew how I felt, I knew what I wanted, because my needs were pretty simple then, uh, but now they're really complicated, and I, I thought my most complex, um, 
time would be in college and now I feel like it's my early 20s where I'm just kind of wondering I don't even know what I want so it's kind of exciting I'm, I'm really happy to go on this road trip because I'll be able to clear my mind and kind of think about um, it'll give me time to kind of form what I want to do with my life uh, starting now uh, so it's has it's come at a perfect time for me to go on this trip to California so I'm not sure if I've talked about this video yet but it's called make it count and it's uh, a video for Nike and the slogan is life is a sport make it count and this really cool fil filmmaker named Casey Neistat made it he basically takes money from a promotion from Nike and he uses it to travel around the world and to make it count and it's a really cool video and he goes all over the place and films it all so I was thinking it'd be really cool to do something kind of inspired by that um, on my road trip and it won't be around the world obviously but it'll be um, from Florida to out west and it's only basically been to uh, Las Vegas and one time to LA um, it was like Hollywood but it was really briefly and I didn't have a car so I really feel like I haven't seen a lot of it um, I told you I talked to my friend Ben earlier and he's gonna show me all around and I'm really excited so he says he's gonna try to convince me to move there but I don't know if that's gonna work I've never really wanted to move there before there's tons of other places I want to go first but yeah, um, oh my gosh, I haven't even started packing. I have so much to do. I wish you guys could help me. Um, when I was younger, whenever I would go on a trip, I would draw out all of my outfits. When I would, I used to be like really, I used to want to be a fashion designer. I used to be really into clothes. I don't know what happened because now I feel like I don't even care at all. But I used to draw out all my outfits and like plan them in a little schedule and then pack them. Um, but yeah, anyway. It's like a really attractive girl just starts flirting with me at random and leaves after 4 minutes and 30 seconds. No goodbyes, no wait a seconds, just left. This teaser is just a great tease. I want in the grove in full. I'm so happy you guys are so excited. I'm so sorry it's taking so long for me to upload it, but it will be very soon. You guys are the main people that I want to share with. I'm just so totally excited. So is Jesse and Allie and everybody else. Justin too. Um, Alright, I need to go to bed, even though I'll probably finish watching Bones before I do. I gotta get up and edit, and then Jesse's gonna pick me up, and we're going to Gainesville tomorrow, and I'm really, I think it'll be a blast. Oh, and then I gotta pack! And then I gotta go to California! Um, I'm a little overwhelmed, if you can't tell how much I need to do. But, yeah, so I need to go to bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. girls that don't like me I wonder if we'll ever meet but chances are you're not for me cuz I'm not sure about anything no waking up too sick to see stuff back breathing just fucking breathing but pretend it's you not me fake looks fake eyes fake everything no waking up too sick to see stuff back breathing just